I'm Communications Director Krista Flash. And I'm Vice Mayor Scott Udy. Thanks for joining us for this edition of City Council Highlights. Here's what happened at the July 3rd City Council meeting. Our engineering and construction team is applying for a couple of grants to expand public transportation projects. One grant will help rebuild the bridge at 23rd Street, also known as County Line Road, and Highway 51 as part of the upcoming 23rd Street widening project. Staff is also applying for a grant to expand the Broken Arrow Creek Trail up to Main Street. Construction on these projects won't start for another year or so. We'll keep you advised. Our fire department renewed their agreement with the Tulsa Fire Department to provide mutual aid for fire and emergency medical calls. This allows for the closest station to respond to an emergency, even if it's in the other city's jurisdiction. The City of Tulsa has also offered to provide assistance when all of our fire department's resources are involved in an ongoing incident. We renewed several use agreements with the Broken Arrow Rugby Football Club, the Broken Arrow Volleyball Club, and Broken Arrow Seniors. The Rugby Football Club will host games at the Broken Arrow Events Park, and the Volleyball Club will host their games in the Nienheis Community Center. The Broken Arrow Senior Center operates in a city-owned facility and provides programming and activities for senior citizens year-round. In municipal authority business, five of our largest sewer lift stations will be getting some improvements. Bar screens will be added to the lift stations to help protect our pumps. In the past, lift station pumps have been damaged by debris, leading to costly repairs. The screens will help minimize this kind of damage. The water treatment plant will get some upgrades to help control algae growth. Broken Arrow's drinking water comes from the Verdigree River. Like many water bodies in Oklahoma, algae blooms can get out of control in certain weather conditions, and the improvements will help limit blooms before they reach the treatment plant. In community events, the Mom and Son Luau is Saturday, July 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Nienheis Park Community Center. This is an awesome opportunity for moms, grandmas, and female caregivers to spend time with their sons. Tickets are $5 per person and can be purchased at either community center. For more information, contact the Parks Department at 918-259-7007. And don't forget, the vote for our general obligation bond package, Build Our Future BA, is on August 28th. Learn more about the projects and the propositions in the package at buildourfutureba.com. That's it for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting is July 17th. Have a great day, everyone. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to brokenarrowok.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 918-259-8419 or email mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov.